What's good, people? It's Lando Smoothie. I'm here with another haul. You know, it's been a really, really prolific month for me. Um, you're going to see that it's quite a big haul. It's probably going to end up being a long video. Um, there's some interesting stuff in here that I really look forward to reviewing. These are cinema scenes from the mid to late 90s, the Power of the Force 2 line. The first one you see here is the Cantina Showdown. It's got Dr. Evazan, Ponder Baba, and Obi-Wan Kenobi. Let me kind of get a closer look. It has a really nice background here. I'm not going to go through and review all of these like really in depth, but I just wanted to show you what they look like. Uh, I really like this one. I got this as an indoor flea market somewhat recently. Um, it was a super good deal. Like the box on this one and the next one I'm going to show you, is, you know, leaves something to be desired, but that's okay because the price was severely reduced from what it usually goes for. Let me keep the ball rolling. So the other one that is also kind of like a really grody box is the Jabba dancers here. Ristal, Griata, and Lin Mi. You know, I'm not really super familiar with them and their names and whatnot. Um, but they look pretty cool, and like it's one I definitely don't see a lot. I really look forward to including these in my Jabba's Palace diorama when I'm done with that. So something to look forward to. And the last one that I actually got from my place of work is the purchase of the droids with Uncle Owen, uh, C-3PO, and Luke Skywalker. This one's kind of weird. It doesn't have R2 or R5-D4, but, you know, I'm not going to complain. Again, another good deal, another great set of figures. Also, for my work, I did get these two two-packs here. Uh, they're pretty great. You know, one of them is from the Rogue One characters. They're both in Rogue One packaging, of course. Um, this has got the Scarif Trooper here, and let me try my head at this name here, Moroff. All right, it's not as complicated as I thought. I was reading the French, not going to lie. Uh, and then we have over here Poe Dameron and a Snow Trooper officer. Uh, they both come with a bunch of different accessories, including like these weird uh, packs with the rocket launchers and whatnot, which I don't really care about. But it's really great. This is actually my first Poe figure, and I was really happy to get this Scarif Trooper out of all of these especially. So as you can see, my love affair with the Power of the Force line, the Power of the Force 2 in particular, continues. Um, I have a couple more figures, a bunch. These are the first two of the single pack figures that I have of several. So we're going to go through them. And you might see, of course, here, this Black Series, Luke Skywalker and his Hoth gear. I was super stoked to get this one. Um, the, all the ones you're seeing here and the next several that you're going to see, I was able to get for $3 a piece. You know, maybe that's not the greatest deal in the world, but I felt really good about it, so I stocked up. Um, we can have Prune Face over here, all right, the Luke in the middle here, and the Bespin Luke Skywalker. He's got a lightsaber and a pistol right there, um, the freeze frame. I was really gra glad to grab him. You know, I was just super, super excited to grab all these figures that you're going to be seeing in just one second. Again, I'm not going to go super into detail with these, but I just wanted to point out I got a Han Solo with indoor gear, Ponda Baba and Lobot. These are still in protective sleeves from another indoor flea market that I frequent. Um, these are ones that, you know, I just wanted to pick up. They were really cheap. I got TIE Fighter Pilot, Tusken Raider, and this is my second Stormtrooper, actually. This one in the middle is my last $3 one. Um, then the other two I actually just picked up today. This is R2-D2 with Launching Lightsaber. I was so stoked. This is one of my favorite scenes from the whole saga, so I was really, really glad to grab him. And then, of course, Yak Face over here, which I love him. I love the design on this figure, on this alien. He's the coolest. A somewhat odd mix here, but I got Shirt M. Way from the 3 and 3 quarter line for Rogue One. Kit Fisto with Force Action. <laughs> I haven't pulled him out. Apparently, he does a little swiping and whatnot with his lightsaber. And then I got the Darth Vader on the Force Awakens packaging there. All good deals. The Darth Vader also comes with this great little droid. Uh, I mean, it's part of this thing that you can buy to make kind of like a big little little thing. I don't even know what to call it, but I like this one a lot, though. It looks pretty cool. As you can see, I did get my third applause figure, which I will talk about in another review here. Yoda and Luke from Dagobah in Episode 5. And then I did get two more 3 and 3 quarter inch Black Series figures from Walmart. These were also on sale. I've mentioned in other videos, and you've probably already heard that a lot of these are going on sale you know, for really cheap, I think they're about five something a piece, grabbed Captain Phasma and Kylo Ren. So I also got this one from work. Uh, you can see this is an eight pack of figures. Most of these are repacks from earlier lines, apparently. Um, again, I'm learning a lot about the earlier lines. I wasn't collecting as much when most of them were coming out, but I really like this one. This is also my first Ray figure here with BB-8. 
I got Chewbacca, Young Obi Wan, Jango, Darth Maul, Darth Vader, and of course my favorite iteration of Luke, the Return of the Jedi, Jedi Knight Luke, right here. This is a sweet pack, and I'm not gonna talk too much about it because I'll probably do a video soon. And lastly, these are not Star Wars figures, obviously, but they are clearly inspired by the Star Wars line, the vintage line. You can see these are the reaction figures from Alien. I've got Ripley, Ash, and Kane in his space suit right here. These were the last three I needed for my first wave of the reaction figures from Funko and Super 7. So I have the whole first wave now. In a future video, I'm going to talk about them. I am steadily collecting the second wave as well. Um, got my sights set on them and some other paraphernalia. And then a third wave with the rest of the Nostromo crew is supposed to be coming out in the fall, I believe. So I'm going to be really looking out for those. Big fan of the Alien franchise. I will do some videos about them in the future, so be on the lookout for those if you're interested. While Star Wars is always going to be my main focus, though. Alright, folks, I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Lando Smoothie. Subscribe if you want to see some more content, and I hope you just have a super groovy day.